Okay? Next. Least related expenses. Okay? Least related expenses. So, di ba may asset si Lesi? Meron din siyang liability. Ano yung mga expenses related to that? In relation to liability, this one, interest. In relation to asset, kung depreciable yan, depreciation. So, kaya basically, yung 19, interest and depreciation. Least related expenses. Now, given are the following. <clears throat> okay. For your convenience, yung amor amortization schedule, the first three payments provided already. This one. So kung kanina sa 18, tayo ang gumawa niya, just sa number 19, provided na. Okay? So, details. Commencement date, January 1, 2022. Term, 5 years, life, 8. Annual payments in advance, 12,000. Present value of the lease payments, 51,745. So, yan yung initial measurement. Implicit rate, 8%. Okay. So alin ang least related ano ang least related expenses? This one, interest. Kaya lang ito ang problem. Lease is calendar year. Pero yung accounting na fiscal year. So hindi nagco-inside yung accounting and lease year. So allocation problem katulad do sa notes and bonds natin. Pagka hindi nagko-coincide yung accounting and the payable year, yun ito allocate. So, ang uh, period covered, October 1, 22 to September 30, 23. Now, yung 3-180 na yan, pwede natin lagyan ng note, although paid siya ng January 1, 23, that is actually for 2022. So, ito naman, although paid siya ng January 1, 24, that's actually 20 23. So kaya dito sa 3180, kukuha tayo dito ng 3 months. So dito naman sa 2474, 9 months. So lease related expense, interest. October 1 to December 31, 22, 3180 times 3 over 12. So 3 months, October to December. Then, yung January 1 to September 30, this one, 9 months. Okay? So, yan ang problema pag hindi nagko-coincide yung mga accounting at yung mga payable year na yan. So, total interest expense. So, in relation to the lease liability. In relation to right of use asset, Okay, so ito yung i recognize na right of use asset. So, i-depreciate yan, ito ang problem. Over how many years? Ang lease term, 5. Ang economic life, 8. So, in this problem, walang transfer of ownership. Wala ding option to buy. So, eventually, the lessee will not become the owner. Since the lessee will not become the owner, the asset is depreciated over the shorter of Lease term and useful life. So use the lease term. Divide by 5. Annual depreciation. Silent using straight line method. So the lease related expenses. Interest and depreciation. Total. Number 19. Letter C. Okay, so 19, letter C. <clears throat> okay, now, as noted in the changes in the carrying amount, so ang CA ng liability and right of use asset affected yan ng remeasurement of the lease liability. And yung lease liability, i-remeasure yan because of what? Reassessment. Okay, or modification. Okay, so paano naman itong reassessment? Okay, of lease liability. So paano ba yung modifications na yan? So discuss natin yan in the next 
video. Okay?